It's Paul O'Neill in the Famoso Soundstage, along with Alyssa Reed. Welcome to the new 92.5 Fresh FM. Welcome back to Edmonton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, so uh, I that under- was so Elvis of you. That was very Elvis <laughs> that was of you. So Elvis. So uh, Edmonton area, your home region originally. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Yes, I was born here and raised. And so you've lived kind of all over the capital region, pretty much. I have. Yeah. Yeah, I moved around a little bit. Hey, so uh, let's ask a couple of questions here. Uh, first of all, your big song that came out in 2010, "Alone Again." Obviously, most of us go, hey, wait a minute, is that Hart singing? No, it's Alyssa Reed. How did you get in contact with the writers of that song? Um, So Hart didn't actually write that song. It was written by Billy Steinberg and Tom Kelly. I wasn't actually going to release it. It wasn't meant to to be a single or a cover, even at that. Um, I had written a completely different song. There's a version without a rapper. um, And I didn't have a chorus written for it, so I wanted to send it off um, to be demoed. Um, so I just sang like alone over top of it. It was the same chord progression. It had the same content. So mm-hmm. um, I, I literally just sang it over top, and then sent it off to the label, and um, they fell in love with it. And we decided to just record it like that. But then I wasn't going to release the song. We thought, man, it might be too cheesy. So we just didn't do anything with it. And then um, a couple months later, the radio team came in to hear what we've been working on. And we were like, oh, we just want to play you this just to see what you think about it. And they loved and it. And they fell in love. And they were like, we're going with this this week. Well, that song was massive And then for it you. changed my life. And it did. It certainly yeah. did. It certainly did. I mean, that song put you on the map. Now, of course, uh, the writer of that song, Billy Steinberg, mm-hmm. I mean, he's written hits for like every, so many people. Yeah, yeah, he pretty much wrote every huge hit in the 80s. And he's even, he's writing now for Demi Lovato. He wrote uh, mm. Satisfaction Guaranteed with me. So he's doing a lot of writing still. Now you've had a chance since uh, Alone to really uh, work in your music full time. Yeah. You've had an opportunity to go overseas and mm-hmm. tour. I understand you had a paparazzi moment. Yeah, I had my first um, tabloid experience down in the UK. I did a couple of shows with mm-hmm. One Direction and um, someone saw me talking to Harry Styles backstage and um, <laughs> the next morning I woke up and I'm on the cover of like 52 different newspapers and magazines and my Twitter account had just blown up with like hate mail from small female <laughs> children all around the world. It was insane. Well, either that or they're thinking, who's the new girl for Harry right? Styles? Yeah. Well, apparently before that, he had only um, been talking to like women in their 30s. So then this article came out that I had tamed the cougar hunter. <laughs> And I mean, like it made the next run of shows with him so awkward because he would like come say hi and I'd be like, hi, bye, (laughs) gotta go. (laughs) Because I just didn't even know what to say. I mean, in Canada, we don't have tabloids Mm -mm, like that. Not like that. I mean, I've been on Perez Hilton like a couple times, but it was all really nice stuff. Like, hey, check out this song. It wasn't gossipy by any means. So it was my first strange tabloid experience and it was a bit overwhelming. Hey, well, thank you so much. Alyssa Reed, uh, you're on stage tonight at uh, K-Day's Hometown Crowd. We're glad to have you in the studio, and welcome back home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I did it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs>